What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's been so long since I've done a YouTube video on my channel and it's been way too long. But I did want to thank all 90 something subscribers that I have. I don't know how many it is now. I had 95. I think it's down to 94 now. But I just wanted to thank everybody for watching my content. Um, I've had to get some money. I've had to umpire some games. I've had to deliver a bunch of groceries. I've had to do all kinds of different jobs to try and keep my head above water financially and I just had to take a break from YouTube. I dove in so hard when I started in January and I just needed to take a break over April and here we are again. I'm ready to get started with this Montana Grizzlies 12 team playoff. The first round has concluded. USC beat Georgia and now we're gonna have to play against USC and this is our first time playing in the 12 team playoffs with Montana and we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna get my guys fired up, show you guys the uniforms and as always, thank you so much for watching. All right, so Caleb Williams came right out, threw an 80 yard bomb for a touchdown. So now I gotta see what Clifton McDowell's gonna do. Throwing it deep. We got Racinelli, but he's not gonna be able to come down with it. So we try to answer, and it's not gonna be an immediate answer. We're gonna run something else here, completely different from what we just ran. And it looks like we're gonna have a first down. McDowell does it his own way. Now we do have a beast running back out here at Montana. And his name is Eli Gilman. He's coming back for another year for the Grizz. Only gets two there, but we got a long game to play. Got a lot of football left. Let's see what we can do here. We got our guy Bergen. We got a dime from McDowell and we got a first down. All right, so a pretty good start here. Great catch from Aaron Fonts. I was focused there, not saying much. Keelan White coming around here for the end around. He's got room and he has a nice six yard rush. I really wanted to try and concoct a good play there, but I just couldn't get it to work. So we're gonna try something completely different. Again, last time it worked going something different and we got Bergen here after just letting McDowell improvise getting out of the pocket and finding his star guy, number five. All right, we need to get our first touchdown on the board here. And the way we do it is with our tight end, Schaefer wide open across the middle, great route. So USC could not score. We'll take the ball and we'll try and get it in the end zone here. Gilman takes it, four yards on first down, second and six. McDowell in the shotgun, Gilman to his right. We're gonna get it to him on the screen here. Gilman has a first down, shakes and bakes, eight yards, and we're driving again here. Fake the handoff, we got a good read option going here with McDowell, eight yards, second and two. Gonna keep it rolling. All right, now we got Ostomo out here running a little Texas route. Ostomo has a big first down, 15 yards. All right, we're gonna fake this one. Oh, and we tried to get it. Oh, we couldn't get the pitch to him, and it's gonna be a turnover. That's not good. So we're gonna try and not let that get to us. Nothing we can control. Tried to run a play, it didn't work. So we're gonna run another one. McDowell has a big first down. We're gonna see if we can get it in the end zone here. All right, now we're gonna run. I wanted to run that, but we're not. and try something like this. Here we go, I like this. 
Deep drop back, throws it deeper, and we got Keelan White, 52 yards, and he's inside the 10 for a first and goal, Grizz. Let's go. That was like a 10-step drop back, dude. I just did not want to get sacked. I wanted to find my guy on the sideline and have a big play, and that's what we got. Keelan White, first down, Grizz. That was a huge play. Now we're going to see what we can do here on first and goal. Just hand it off to our wide receiver, Fonts. Aaron Fonts pushing the pile, and he's very close to the goal line, but he's going to be short. This time, we're just going to try and play it safe. See if we can get in the end zone here with Gilman, and we can. Eli Gilman has it. Touchdown, Montana. Let's go, guys. So Lloyd and McDowell were battling it out for the Heisman all season, and now they are in a offensive shootout in the college football playoffs. And McDowell takes it around the edge for a 12-yard first down. A minute and 42 is all the time that remains in this half. Let's go, we got Gilman. Gilman, another move, breaks a tackle, and he's almost out of bounds, but he has a first down nonetheless. And the Grizz are running a hurry-up offense. McDowell gives his play to the line. I think we're gonna go play action. See what else we can do here. I love this. I like this a lot. Let's see. We got Bergen deep touchdown, Montana! And we're all tied up at 21 with a minute and 12 seconds left to go in the first half of play here in New Orleans. But wait just a minute. USC fumbled the ball. And now Montana takes over with 30 seconds to take the lead before the half. He lets it fly. No, we couldn't get it with, oh, I really wanted Keelan White to catch another. I really want to score here, but I don't want to make a bad mistake. So we're just going to keep running these deep bombs. We probably could have gone with a tight end, but we got Keelan White instead. He breaks a tackle. He's good. Touchdown, Grizz. Let's go. All right, so here we go. We're going to give it to Gilman. Gilman makes a spin probably a little too early, though, and he's going to go down after losing a yard. They very well may come right out and shut us down, but we can't let that happen. All right. What a throw by Clifton McDowell. Threads the needle to Keelan White, and he is having an amazing game. Quick pass. Tries to get it to Fonts, and it falls harmlessly to the turf, but I'm not a great throw. Now we're going to run a little bit of a play action here. Let's see what we got. I don't like running out to that side, so we're going to go here. And McDowell has only five yards that's better than nothing we're one for one on third down so far so we need to keep that perfect and see what they're doing here first i like ostomo in the flat ostomo has room and ostomo is taken down but not before his huge play for a first down all right so here we go they got one high safety on us what will we do we're gonna go deep that's what we do best. We got our guy. It's Bergen again. Bergen touchdown. And the Grizz have taken a two touchdown lead to start the second half. Wow. They've broken it open here in the first game they've played in this playoffs, this tournament. And Bergen has arrived. Caleb Williams and the Trojans answer. One score game. Now it's up to the Grizz. What will they do here? Got a big play from McDowell. And he holds on to the ball. Huge run for a first down. McDowell, two men in the backfield with him. It's Ostimo who takes the handoff. And he has a nice eight yard gain. McDowell, shotgun. Gilman to his right. Second and two. One minute left here in the third. Throws across the field. It's Racanelli. Racanelli loses his man. And he's got it inside the five. Wow. 
Oh, oh my goodness. What an insane play. A prayer he threw up there. Unbelievable. I cannot believe he caught that pass. Now we have a chance to run it in with Gilman and we got it. Let's go. So we need a great drive here. We need things to go our way. We got Gilman. Gilman has blockers. Gilman dives for extra yardage and to stay in bounds. He catches it out here. McDowell knows where to run away from the defenders, and Gilman has the presence of mind to stay in bounds. Two backs in the backfield again with McDowell. McDowell pitches it to Gilman. Gilman has another big run. And he's got another first down. He's going to get it. This O-line has been playing lights out in the second half. Gilman can't find anywhere to go. I don't think it was the O-line's fault there, though. Gilman will take a rest. We got X Harris in for the Grizz on the right side of Clifton McDowell. Let's see what they elect to run here. We got Fonts over the middle, and it's incomplete. Good coverage. All right, so they know we want to run the ball, run the clock, all that. But we can still run a play action here. I like Fonts, and he's got it. Trust our guys. Even though he couldn't make the catch last play, we give it to him again. And doing the same thing worked out last time, so we're going to do it here. May not throw it to Fonts. We're going to try and find the open guy. But, it's not looking good so far. So we're going to take it, and we're just going to get out of bounds. We're fine with stopping the clock, as long as we keep the football in our possession. Alright, so... I don't like this! Oh, we got it, though! He made that catch! Junior Bergen! That never works for me. And he catches that just because he's junior. This is unbelievable. I'm sorry, guys, to add to the runtime of this video, but look! We tried to fit it to him. Great defensive coverage again. They're playing lights out on both sides of the ball. USC is a good team on this game. But he just can't make the pick. And it looks like his teammate, number nine, his helmet gets in the way of the interception. Pops the ball back to Bergen. And Bergen makes the one-handed grab behind his body and hangs on after taking a shot. Aaron Fonts is there to celebrate. Number 70, our O-lineman's there to celebrate. 72 has a good look at it as well, and they're all loving it. A Grizz team that is feeling themselves is a dangerous thing right now. Let's see what happens. I wanted Schaefer. It doesn't look like we're going to get it to him. Gilman has it with a yard. Could have done more there. We couldn't stay in bounds. All right, we're going to bring our two backs back out. This has been working all game. Now, they're going to go for Gilman. McDowell has no room to run. Third and ten. Third down. We are three for three in this game. Let's see. We got Schaefer. Schaefer has the pylon. Schaefer has the touchdown. Let's go. Clifton McDowell, 5 for 6 on that drive. Oh, man. What a game. All right? I'm so sorry I took so long making you guys wait for this. I did not think this game was going to be this close, this entertaining, this good, and it's everything I wanted it to be, man. This win feels good because it was such an entertaining gameplay. It was fun for me, you know, to play. And also, I'm just glad we got another YouTube video up on the channel. Guys, we're going to have a good playoffs, all right? And I am going to promise you guys that I will stream this Thursday. And we will have our Grizz Basketball Dynasty back, okay? I'm so sorry I made you guys wait. Thank you guys so much for watching. The one thing that y'all can do to help me out... I I mean this, is just subscribe and like all my videos, all right? So, I'm not getting paid from YouTube. I'm not sponsored by anybody, obviously. I'm just trying to do what I can to make my channel the best college football and basketball. And eventually, I'm going to play some college baseball. 
but I just want to make the best content that I can make and entertain you guys and hopefully y'all keep coming back for more subscribe that helps my channel out more than y'all know it's a small click for you guys but it's a huge click for me I'm really excited for this new college football game to come out and that's what kind of got he started doing all these uh, gameplays and dynasties and I just hope you all enjoy them as much as I enjoy playing them and also I hope some of you guys play the new game hope y'all play some of the old games I hope y'all see how fun the older games are opposed to like newer Maddens but I'm gonna shut the video down here um thank you guys again so much for watching I don't know what's going on with my phone here but it's all good um yeah, I'm terrible at outros, but at least we had a great gameplay. Thank you guys one more time. Please subscribe. Uh, I'm rusty at this, but yeah, y'all stay blessed and peace.